Today we're going to um, divide fractions with whole numbers, okay? So let's get started. All right. So um, let's go with um, 3 divided by 1 fifth. Well, if you remember from the other video, um, when, when on the first video on multiplying fractions, we need to turn, I tell you that you need to turn this whole number into a fraction, okay? If you have a fraction, you need to turn, make sure everything is a fraction, okay? So I'm going to change this 3 to 3 over 1, and we'll write divide it by 1 fifths, all right? So now I have two fractions. So now what I'm going to do, I brought my division sign down. Now I'm going to apply my rule for dividing fractions. I'm going to bring down the first fraction, change my division to multiplication, and take the reciprocal of one-fifths. Reciprocal means to flip this fraction, which is 5 over 1. So now I'm going to just multiply across 3 times 5 and then 1 times 1. 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay. Whenever you have a, a number over 1 at, at, in fraction form, that just means that top numerator. So the final answer is 15. Okay. So let me go over this again. Whenever you have, whenever you have a whole number being divided by a whole number and a fraction being divided or multiplied, you want to make sure every everything in your problem, every number in your problem is a fraction. So I'm going to change this three to three over one, divide it by one fifth. Okay. Then I'm going to bring my three over one down. I'm going to change my division to multiplication. I'm going to take the reciprocal of one-fifths, which is 5 over 1. This creates a multiplication problem. So I'm going to multiply my numerators, which is 3 times 5, and my denominators, which is 1 times 1. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 1 is 1. 15 over 1 is just plain old 15. Okay? Try another one. What if I had um, seven divided by two thirds? Seven divided by two thirds. Okay. Well, the first thing I want to do is change, make the seven into a fraction. Seven over one divided by two-thirds. Now I need to change this problem, this fraction division problem, into a fraction multiplication problem. So I'm going to bring down my 7 over 1. I'm going to change my division to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of two-thirds, which is 3 over 2. Now I'm just going to multiply across. 7 times 3, 1 times 2. 7 times 3, so I put 7 times 3. 1 times 2, so I wrote 1 times 2. Okay? So, what is 7 times 3? 21. What is 1 times 2? 2. This time I have an improper fraction, so I need to divide 21 divided by 2. This is my whole number, this is my numerator, this is my denominator, so I have 10, my numerator is 1, my denominator is 2, and I know that 1 half is in lowest terms. Okay, I'd like for you to work one now.
Let's go with 4 divided by 2 fifths. 4 divided by 2 fifths. Okay. Um, if you'll please uh, divide that, the fraction and the whole number, and um, put the video on pause. Thank you. Okay, first thing we want to do, we want to change that 4 to a fraction. That's going to be 4 over 1 divided by 2 fifths. Now the problem looks like this. So now I need to change this division sign, this division problem, into a multiplication problem. So I'm going to bring down my four over one. My division, I'm going to change the division sign to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of, of two fifths, which is five over two. Now I've changed this division problem into a multiplication problem. So four times five and one times two. Four times five is 20. One times two is two. 20 divided by two, so I need to take 20 divided by two. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. That's my denominator. So my whole number is 10. My numerator is zero, and my denominator is two. And just like in the previous video, I tell you whenever you have a zero in your numerator, you can just cancel it out because that's zero. So the final answer is just plain old 10. All right. I hope that video helped you. Um, please visit mathwithmoon.org. I'm sorry, mathwithmoon.org for future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.